Welcome to the Jim Florentine Comedy Metal Midgets Podcast. It's a brand new year, 2015. If you're in Dallas, in the Dallas area, this weekend, January 8th through 10th, I'll be at Hyenas Comedy Club. Then January 15th through 18th, Laughing Skull, Atlanta, Georgia. January 24, 25, Laugh-In Comedy Cafe, Fort Myers, Florida. And another date just got added up. February 6th, Valley Forge Casino in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania with Dave Attell and the Comedy Underground. Um, this ticket's, uh, I think one show sold out. Tickets for the late show at 1030 or something like that. Check that out, Valley For- Forge Casino. Excited to work with a legend, Dave Attell. Um, yeah, let's just get right to it. What the fuck are we waiting for? Any feedback on the podcast, all the shit, please send it in to ComedyMetalMidgets at gmail.com. Awful vanity plates, bad baby names, Facebook posts, slang words, or any other ideas for podcasts. And thank you for the nice feedback. I see a lot more women are listening and sending in stuff. Guys are saying, now my wife's looking for these vanity plates. Now she's all, she's getting annoyed at all this stuff because I brought it up. So I love that. Then I get the other side. Dude, I can't wait for you to come to my town. Uh, I'm going to have to come alone. My wife hates your guts. She doesn't understand why you're so angry and have to rip everything apart. What are you going to do? You can't appeal to everyone, and I never try. You just fucking throw it out there. People like it, great. If they don't, that's okay, too. I'm not going to take it personally. This isn't for everyone. This is hardly for anybody. And we all know what we're talking about. Anyone that digs this stuff knows. Most people are like, why? Who cares about that? We do. We know. This guy, I tracked him down. A favorite on the podcast, Gary from Florida. It took me a while because I haven't been in Florida in a while. I just went down there for vacation. Me and my son, I saw him. We hung out. Uh, My four and a half year old son thinks he's the greatest guy ever. Was dying laughing. Can't stop talking about him. Um, it's an update on Gary from Florida. A lot of changes in his life. I think you're going to enjoy it. So let's get to right to it. I love this guy. Classic. Um, and uh, let's end this uh, the show with a song. What the hell did I pick out? I was going to pick out a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? So the singer from Buck Cherry, Josh Todd, released a solo record uh, 2004. It's called You Made Me. It's a really good record. It's, re- it's really a hard rock record. It's not so much, you know, more to, more to commercial Buck Cherry stuff. I've always liked this band. Um, great live band and everything else. But uh, his solo record, I guess it was after they put out two records and then they broke up and he put a solo record out. Then they got back together. But You Made Me is the record. If you, if you dig this, find it somewhere. It's still out there. I guess you get it on Amazon. But it's a really good hard rock record. Check this song out called Broken at the End. And here it is, Gary from Florida. All right, we're here with Gary from Florida. Um, he's the most requested guy ever. Requested back on the podcast. People have been going crazy. What do you say, fellas? How are you? G, J, John, how? Look at these cheeks, man. Are People, they fucking... Gary right now has his underwear and a G-string. Yeah. And is walking around like a, like a sumo wrestler. Look at me, fella. It? It's his move. And he bends over. He walks by and he just bends over. Like you walk by your room and just bend it. Yeah. And a 16-year-old nephew is here, and he's putting his ass right in his face. Is that phenomenal or what? It's like a, what? It's like a wax gel. All right, come here. Crap. Wait, hurry up. Look at this thing. Touch it. Come on, get up. Come here. Look, Gary, come on. Nephew. Focus. Let me fuck this. You did an hour and a half ago. You fucked that all up. Look at me. He's drinking vodka straight out of a wine glass. I, th- I was asking, I'm like, where's that white wine? I might have a glass. He's like, there's no wine here. Vodka st- out of a wine glass. Straight, no ice, no nothing. Well, fella, you know what? This is like the, uh, yes. That's what it is right there. I mean, it's good. Meanwhile, two days ago, you went to an AA meeting. Didn't work. 
sugar bake. It did work. You know why? I walked up to like five or six people who used to come to my like, store and I said, hey, God bless you guys. Look at me. God bless you. And then they say, do you still have those sales at the store? <laughs> they did. What were they asking if there was 99? They said, you still got those, uh, are they still 99 cents, those little shots? I said, yeah, come on in. Buy five, get one free. I sold the store, but Jesus Christ, they were there. But you did, but it didn't do anything like maybe I should stop drinking when you went to the AA stop meeting. What? Who, 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 me for what? The fuck am I going to stop for, fellow? What the fuck? Why are you giving me shit, motherfucker? I'm not giving you shit. I'm just asking. You went, though. I thought maybe there was a reason why you went. 30 something fucking years he's giving me shit for it. What the fuck are you looking at? You going to fart at me, motherfucker? Yeah. Look at this again. His nephew's going <laughs> to. He's trying to get the legacy of this little prick. It's going to happen in a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Joe Jr., get the, uh, can you get me a beer out of the refrigerator, of course, light now? Bro, Joe, fill us up, man. Bring All right. Of the kettle over here. So, so listen, okay. listen, last time we met Left Gary, um, he was on the dating scene banging a bunch of different chicks, but now for the last five and a half I'm months, love, he has a girlfriend. I mean, listen, we went over this about an hour and a half. I got a whole fucking thing that twisted around, but Jesus Christ. Look at me, fella. You're in love. <clears throat> I love her. I'm a good-looking guy. I fucking, what the fuck? I met a good girl, man. Come okay. on. Now, you haven't been... Mem- whor- <clears throat> m- most, well, most of it, I haven't... No, I haven't... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, that's why I got... You have, so, in five and a half months, you have not been with anybody never. else. I have not. Not and, one girl. And, I, and never will be either, man. There's no way. No. That's what I'm no. About. Oh, that's fantastic. What are you doing there now? Makes this thing. Hey, kid brings me a whole gallon of kettle of wine over. God Almighty. Focus. Joe, take it easy. So, five and a half months. Now, is this the longest you've ever gone with just the same woman? Five and a half months in your life. Joe, um, Jim, you know what? Let's 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 calculate this. Let's go back. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Even and even in your marriage. Well, I was married seven years, but right. But I mean, even in that, you probably weren't. It's the same person for five well, and a half months. Larry Little back then. Right, so probably in the last, I say, thirty years since you've been divorced. I don't know whatever it is, or twenty-five 20, years. Twenty years. Twenty years. You haven't been faithful for five. You haven't been with one, just one girl in five and a half months. <laughs> since the first time in twenty years, you're making progress. It's fucking look at me, fella. I I feel like I've come a long way. How? How? Well, How? I have I have kept my mule. In my box. Now, you said that she doesn't like it in the crap or the new one. No, she don't like it there, fella. So, but that's a, that, isn't that a deal breaker well, in a relationship for you? That is a deal breaker because, you know, I'm the king of fucking crapper. I like the shit box more than any man. Come so, on. So then what, did you try it with her? When you're ramming out of the shit box, guys. What are you, what are you feeling? Did you try it with her? Oh, a bunch of pussies out there. Did you try it with her to, to, to put her I in? I did. She, she told me, I don't like it there. I like it in the front. Now, how many times did you try it with her? Yeah, like three times. No, you think you would like get the- there. I would like it in the front. <laughs> don't do it there. I want it in the front. What's the front? I mean, when I'm bending you over this way, that's the front to me. I want the front hole, she said. Okay. What the fuck? All and right. So you think that you would get... Front. I started fucking in the front hall. You would think that you would think that she would, you would get the hint after the first time when she said no, but you went back two more times after. Well, she said the front hall, Jim. So you know, listen, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be the most coy guy of all. But when you say the front, what the fuck is the front hall? It's all the front hall. The shit box is the front no, hall. That's the back. Oh come back on, back door. It's, Dude, it's let me tell you something. When I'm banging chicks. They're laying down straight back. They got their fucking... One hole is in front of the other. They're, they're laying their fucking back straight up. You got two holes. What's the back? What's, what's the front? What's the back? I mean, what the fuck? But why Don't give me that shit. Dude, I'm go, you know me. I'm going to the dark. I go to the dark side, fella. But why wouldn't you... After the first time she said... Uh, let's wait. After the first time she said she didn't like it there, why would you try two more times the girl that you're in love with? Because I'm me. <laughs> but fair enough. That's fair enough, right? Fair. Jesus Christ. And she said the same thing the second and third time too. 
the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. Did she you, said, at some point, did you say Gary? I like it in the front, not the back, she said. Every time she says the same thing? Same thing, every time. Did she ever, afterwards, did she ever confront you and go, Gary, will you stop doing that? No, she don't like that. She's like, no, she's like, I don't want that. I don't want to hear you tell me about that crap no more. Ah. Really? Now, is that a deal breaker for you, even though you're in love with her, that you can't get the crap out of That's your favorite thing. Motherfucker, look at me. But that's your favorite thing. Dude, here's my thing. Let's turn the volume down. I can get, get fucking a box fucking crap shit hole any goddamn where I want. Look at me, pal. Phenomenal. They all, most chicks want to get fucking up their crapper. But, but this one doesn't, but though. But don't, let's talk about this one. But you know what? When you got somebody like me that's a professional, they want to get their fucking box shit fucked. And a box shit fucker. Did you, say, did you say I love you to her? I did. Now, when did you say I it? I told her I love her. Now, uh, the, the story, oh, is, the story is two months ago you were kayaking. She was ahead of you like 300 feet, and you were yelling because you thought you were going to drown because it was fish jumping up and down. Up, up, a shark up. in front of me, fella. So he was all nervous. He's like, honey, I love you. Oh, honey, what? from like 200 feet away, as she's in another kayak. That's how you, you said most people do it over dinner. They're on a friggin' vacation. I don't know, they're hanging or whatever. I got fucking... You were in a kayak 200 feet away. I was in a kayak. These fucking fish, they're jumping. They're hitting up there, hit me in the head. Bing, bang, boom. Like a pinball fucking machine. So were you saying I love you just because you I, thought you were going to die? I did. Was that wrong? Was I wrong no. on that? You got to do it for the Am right. Re- you got to do it for the right reasons. So, but she didn't say it back when you were yelling it, did she? Yeah, she did when she pulled me out of the canal. What did she when, say? When we pulled up to her house and I couldn't get the fuck out of the kayak, I was sinking. She said, "I want to let you know something. I love you too." She said, and I was like, "God bless you." Did mom. you cry? I always cry, fella. Look at me. No, did you cry when she yeah, said I that? I, I cried. You did? I'm a crier, man. <laughs> did she cry? She cried too, because look at she's look at me. She, she's got all the fucking shit. To get him here. So five and a half months now. We were out tonight to dinner at the rest at this restaurant, and you know the waitress. She wants to fuck me. I think. I know she was definitely coming on. She's like, "Hey, yeah. let's get dinner if you're look in town." Me, next time. Come on, Jim. Look at me, man. So then, come what on. happens? You come yeah. to town in a few weeks. What happens? Well, yeah, I'm not going to do nothing with her. She looked fantastic, but man, I can't. I, I can't. Do, Jim, look at me, fella. Maybe she'll take it up to crapper. No, but would you do? Would you? What if she oh, came on to you when you yeah. get back in town? Let me finish, motherfucker. Okay. Okay. You pull the fucking thing away from me. You know, I'm fucking three hundred fucking miles away. Maybe I'll fucking slide over here. Hey, how you doing? I'm a couple of cocktails. We go back to her place, man. Fucking hey, maybe a mega tour of the bone crusher. Maybe I'll fucking slap it down her fucking throat or so. You feel me? So now, what happens if your girl says, "Gary, where were you last night? I called you." You're gonna have to tell the truth, man. This fucking broad right here. Listen, if I'm pounding her shit hole, I can't stop, dude. Right, but what do you tell? I'm really fucking ripping on that shit hole. I ain't stopping. So don't give me no fucking trip and shit, nothing. I'm not, but when I'm pounding that shit hole. Because I'm the shithole pounder. What if you? What? What if? She, what do you tell her when she says, "Gary, where were you last night?" I called. Burger her. King. Fuck. <laughs> hey, you know, three for ones: burgers, fries. Hey, they had this strawberry shake. You can't fucking. You feel me? You so, feel me? So you think your 55 year old girlfriend? She's 55. Would right. believe that you were at Burger King? Yeah, she feels me. Yeah, she said, "Oh, is that Burger King?" She. Oh, well, why couldn't you pick up your phone at the Burger King? Um. Actually, I was trying to pick it up every time, every time. Dead zone. Oh, fuck. These dead zones, these fuck Metro PC fucking things. You think she buys that? Oh, um, they buy everything. They're all fucking things. So you're in love. I am. Will you ever get married? Never. Look at me, Jim. Tomorrow she says. Look at me. Tomorrow she says. Look at me. Fuck. Marry me or, or I'm leaving. It's over. I don't know what to tell you. God bless you. Hey, have a nice sniff. Will you ever, will you ever move in with her? What if she wants you to move in with her? Not get married. Never. What if she says, Gary? Well, I don't want to get married. You just move in with yeah. me. She's got a big house. Why wouldn't you move in with her? I can't do it. Dude. 
Why? Yeah, dogs. She loves her dogs. She don't love me, dude. You don't think she loves you? She does love me. She does. Who does she love? The dogs or you more? Fucking, look at this fucking. The dogs, of course. I mean, look at me. Holy Christ. So if she had no dogs, would you move in with her? If she had no dogs, would you move in with her? Would you? I never met her. Wow. No, I wouldn't. Why? It's not going to happen. She, if she I says, don't want to live with a fucking anybody in my life. I'm humble about, motherfucker. Mitch, you feel me or what? So what if she says, Gary, me, she says, Gary, I need this relationship to go to the next level. She can feel my fucking cock, my ball sack. I shave it. What else you want me to do? I'm like a fucking eight-year-old when you go down there. You rub that thing? Fuck, don't tell me you want a fucking 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 60-year-old. You fucking rub your hands on my ball sack? It's fucking beautiful. Feel me? I'm not going there at all. Feel me? Gary just farted. What if she says, Gary, I want this relationship to go to the next level? The next level is suck my cock, drink my seeds. You love me? I love you. Gobble goo, gobble goo. And she will. Wow. Too bad every relationship that wasn't the next level. That would be great. Fro, you gotta, you got to get your girl, look you in your eye, suck your cock. When she's looking in your eye and you drop your goo down her throat, she'll never leave you. Okay. Do you wear con- All right, wait. Do you wear condoms never. with her? Does she swallow? She does. Do you eat her box? I do. She's got a bell on her thing, too. Do you ever try to put a, a finger in her ass? That's one of your favorites. She didn't, she didn't go for that either. She pushes it away. Really? I like it in the front, she says. But that, even the finger, too? Dude, the finger, the fucking tongue, whatever. You, I, I tried every fucking thing. You, you tried to eat her ass, too? I ate her ass. You did eat her ass. <laughs> but did you eat her ass? Oh, I gobbled that fucking shit box. But you, she didn't, you didn't eat her ass? I ate her shit box. You her did. shit, I did. And what did you, she, did she, she like it? She wanted me getting that shit box. But did she like it? She it liked it, but she said, no way. I'm not letting you in my fucking shit box. You can eat my shit box, lick my shit box. <laughs> You can play with my shit box. You ain't fucking my shit box, she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay? You want to do it? Play with it? Flick it? Fondle it? But you ain't fucking the fucking shit box. That's what she said. She looked me right in the eye. I was like, holy fucking shit. Are you kidding me? I want to fuck that shit box. Man, oh man, I do. Do you think that might ruin the relationship if she never gives it up? No. But that's your favorite thing. But, Jim, look at me, fellow. That's your favorite thing. You, you're, 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 you're okay with not doing that. She's sleeping. They're knocking on my door. I'm going to turn my head. I'm going to pound their fucking shit box. I got me. Shh. Don't say that. So now uh, the, another update with Gary. Oh, here we go. He had um, skin cancer on his ear. And he had a piece of his... He had, he had to have a piece of his ear removed. How's that going? Well, you know what, guys? It was a... Hey, God... God bless. You know, that's all it was. What did they just snip? They snipped that like half of your ear off? Stiffed like a quarter of my fucking ear off. No chemotherapy, none of that stuff, right? They just got it before. They asked me if I was circumcised, the doctor. So wait, wait, they wanted to reconstruct the ear, so the doctor asked if you were circumcised. They reconstructed, motherfucker. But they didn't know what it... Get that fucking dog away from my ass, motherfucker. So he said, the doctor said, are you circumcised? Because he wanted to take the skin from your... He wanted to take the skin from my cock and stick it on my fucking ear and, and call me a dickhead. I said, holy fuck. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to have a problem. You told you him know? you aren't circumcised? Holy shit. I fucking got in his face. Who the fuck you think you are, motherfucker? Holy shit. If you weren't circumcised, would you let him take in the skin? No. Why not? But I'm Italian, so that fucking thing is clean as a fucking whistle. It's so clean? Get that shit fucking thing away from me. So you wouldn't have let him take it if you were uncircumcised. You wouldn't. Oh, you want to hear the story? I'm gonna tell you right now. Holy what? fuck! That nigger motherfucker. Well, you know, nigger but not tell you. Right. That nigger motherfucker come up to me and said, "Who the, you know, you want to fuck it? I'll do that." I said, "Holy shit!" What? Who the fuck? I'm sitting. You feel me? Or what? So he said, "Get what? that dog out of my fucking face!" So he said, "Wait." So he said. Are you circumcised? I want to take the skin off. Some shit on me, man. Come on, dude, focus over here, dude. We're in it. Forget it. Fucking dog off me, dude. I'll kill him. Listen, for real, Gary. So the guy said, us. "I'm going to take your force." Are you circumcised? 
Guy said, hey, are you circumcised? I said, yeah, man, my fuck it, I'm circumcised. He goes, it's, it's a good thing. Because you would have been known as a dickhead, he said. Or a dick ear, or whatever right. the fuck he said. Holy so shit. where did they take the skin from? The back of my ear. They scraped it. A little from my ass there. So were you nervous, though? I was out like a light, fella. Were you nervous, though, when they found out you had skin cancer? I was pretty fucking nervous, fella, yeah. What were you more, when, when you got oh. ball, when you got ball wart and that other thing, what was the thing growing oh, from I, your ass? Yeah, that the hemorrhoids? was fucking, that was more fucking. And that thing that was hanging off your dick, too. What was the thing shit. that you said with like a That scared me more than this fucking did, holy shit. What was the thing? I that was, was rolling dice down the fucking lanes of Don Carter's What was lanes. the thing that you, um, was growing on your dick? Uh, Megator, the wall board boy, or what the fuck was that? I don't remember. Whatever I think. So what were you more nervous about? The, the skin cancer, the thing growing on your dick, or ball wart? That thing growing on my dick, dude, was fucking brutal. I mean, come on. It had two roots and five heads. <laughs> so your ear's okay. It's reconstructed. It's okay. How's it look, fella? It looks good. So you've been through a lot since the last podcast. You got a new girlfriend. You said, I love you. And you got skin cancer, your ears are right, you don't know, no, you're good, they cut it all out. I'm fucking fantastic. You've been to an AA meeting? Yep, maybe go to one tomorrow, who the fuck knows? I mean, you know, listen to me, man, I'm not man. Well, I got a restaurant over here, I guess I do, I don't fucking know, but I got all kinds of shit going on. Now, last time you were on a podcast, you mentioned something about a Hall of Fame speech. If you went to the Hall of Fame for banging all these girls, give me a little bit of your speech. Well, Jim, here's the whole thing. I mean, Jesus You're Christ. You're at the podium. I, I'm at the podium right now. And, yeah. you know, Jesus Christ. I've done fucked more women. I'm the fucking crapper, the shit box, the shit hole, the shit mouth that you can imagine. I mean, to me, that's fantastic. I mean, you know, God bless me. That's it? Yeah, but what happens when your fa- Stop. Yeah, Just look over here. What happens when your family is... The I'm the greatest row. fucking person on tape that anybody could imagine. Okay, but you. I love everybody, man. My whole, I love my family, my friends. Of course you do. And you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do to make a living. But and what to, would what would you do if your two daughters are in the front? And you're saying I'm I'm the king of the shit. I would boxes. wave to them both and fucking salute them like I am the Colonel fucking GJ Gentile. Really? And you th- would your daughters be embarrassed? They would be embarrassed, but you know what? Hey, I mean, paying in their car pants. Who gives a fucking shit, right? So you know, you you're up there saying how you had sex with all these girls in the ass, and your daughter's in the front row, and they'll they'll is be that okay. Fantastic? They'll be okay with it. That their dad is talking like they'd that. be depressed, but holy shit, I don't give a fucking crap. Because and what else? You know would, why? I'm the fucking king of that. What shit. else would your speech say? Uh, let me gobble you all up one more fucking time. Would you I thank the girls huge. that you're with? I like would. The girls. Well, let me finish my fucking speech. All right, go, fucking, go. God damn motherfuckers always interrupting me and shit. Holy Christ. I'm, the fuck, shit. I'm trying to get the whole fucking thing down packed and all that shit. And all these guys do is fucking rip my ass. That's great. All right. It's fantastic. Keep going with your speech. I, I love it all, you know. God bless everybody. Hey, I'm, I am G.J. Gentile. Look at me. Kinger of the crapper of the fucking porn business. Look at me. I bang more fucking chicks up their fucking chin than you can imagine. Because I'm the king, the king of what? The king of the hole, man. Hey, and I wish everybody the greatest Merry Christmas and Happy New Year fall. Look at me, fall. Feel me? God bless you. Do you think girls would want to bang you after that speech? Of course. Really? They'd be turned on by that? It's fantastic. Huh? It's fantastic, fella. Fella. What do you think? Ask Heather or Locklear or whatever the fuck their names were. What do you think of them? No, but you would, do you think the girls would be okay with that? They should be. I mean, look at me. All right, but forget the ass stuff in your speech. You said, all right, I'm the king of the crap, but what else would you say in the speech? You're in the Hall of Fame. You had sex with so many girls, you're in the Hall of Fame. You've seen Hall of Fame speeches before, so forget the crapper stuff. What would you say? Ladies and like, gentlemen. how did it, how did you get to this point where you bang this many? You have I got to, thank, to this point right here. I got to be honest with you. That started there, in the there, beginning. There's stuff. thirty or forty people I got to thank, 
And if I really gotta start getting down to names, I gotta point to the person to the left of me that I don't wanna say nothing, but God bless. But how did you how did you I have no clue whatsoever. Who set you on the path of, of banging a lot of girls? The path of fucking well, Who set you on the path? Well, when you were seventeen you banged the mom and the daughter. Maybe that started that it. That was fantastic. Right? Um, we went over on the podcast before. You were dating some seventeen-year-old. You went over her house after school. You drove. You drove a bike over there. She wasn't home. Mom was cooking. Next yeah, she, comes in half no, no. But next thing, she came over. She sat on top of you. You guys fucked. And dad came home like ten minutes. I know later. their names right now. I'm not going to say. You don't have to say them. But ten minutes later, the dad came oh, home. Was, that was. Fit. You know what? I was seventeen or sixteen years old. What? That's and then you. The what? Greatest thing of a young man his life to fucking experience. And then you wound up banging the daughter because you didn't want her to think that oh, you did anything. Always banging a daughter. Right, so you banged the mom and the daughter within like an hour. Is that fantastic or what? See, that's why you should be and in the I, Hall of Fame. Be honest with her, she's on my Facebook page and I won't say nothing. Which one? The mom and her daughter? Both of them. Would, you go, back, would you go back for seconds? Oh my God. I want to so bad. I want to pull a deuce off. <laughs> So I we, you should that, put that in the Hall of Fame speech. What about all? What about all the fat chicks? There was a bunch of fat chicks in there. Oh, too. Jim, I had more fat chicks than fucking you can fucking check your box. Yeah, out. what about the fat chicks? They were in a green. My, I had green belts, red belts, yellow belts. You know, I used to lose underwear like it was in fucking insane. They'd be like, "Oh my god, that's mine." I mean, come on, you're on a dry spell sixty four days in a row. You're telling me you're not going to bang her? There was a fam- famous line Gary said. He was in a, he goes, I, I, he was every day was in a slump. I'm in 42 days, 43. He goes, I was in a 49 day slump and I broke out of it with an orca. <laughs> Is that great or what? <laughs> I broke out Joe, of it with an orca. Here, fella. Hey, yeah. I got an orca and you know what? It was fantastic. Come on. How much do you think she weighed? Oh, today? Oh, back then? 350. <laughs> um, back then? I'm saying about in the twos today, 410, 430. She's still going. Oh, my God. I remember that night. Holy shit. Well, you blew, blew out of it with an orca. I, I did. Listen, I was the king of the fucking orcas. Absolutely. Listen, they all need love. They're all jerking off going, ah. I'm going to get this hot looking broad over here. Me, I'm in the back going, fucking orca, baby. Yeah. I'm tearing on shit up. I don't give a fuck. You close your eyes, that's all tight in your cockle. You can't believe. Tell me. How many, how many fat girls do you think you're with in your oh, career? 20, 25. 25? 25, they're over 200 pounds. Is that good? Well, let me ask you no, something. Over, over like 250. Oh, well, let's, let's get that. Let's break it up. Maybe 100. 100? Yeah. 100 fat chicks. Well, it's 100, I'd say 200 fat chicks. But 200. You're giving me fucking all kinds of numbers. Well, at least 100 fat well, chicks. How about this? How, how's 200, motherfucker? Shut your hole. How's that? No, but I'm just asking. Yeah. You, so you'd say at least 100 I'm fat chicks. I'm you. Shut up. I'm giving you 200. Is that good or what? I want the right number. I don't. You, I have no clue, man. I fucked so many chicks in my fucking life, dude. We were pawning them off to each other. I pawned three off to you. You pawned off two to me. We fucking we played games like you could have. Met. Come on, man. What, what are the odds that you will marry this girl? Zero percent. What are the odds that you move in with her? Zero percent. What are the odds she gives up the the crapper? Zero percent. It's not gonna happen. I I already feel you, man. What about the? See, so if if she didn't have dogs, you wouldn't move. You would move in with her. No, never. But why? How are you in love then? She's gonna tell you. I love her, Joe. You got wax. Feel how often thing. do you tell her? You love every her. day, man. You do. Mm-hmm. How often do you see her? Every day. Are you ever gonna? Never. Never what? Never, never going to marry her, fella. What are you so afraid of getting married? What are you afraid of, fella? I already was. Me too. So what are you afraid of? Been divorced 16 years, 20 years. So what are you so afraid of? I'm not, man. 
the fuck are you talking about, motherfucker? You don't think there's no girl out there that's worth Who the fuck out? would want to marry me, dude? Look at, look at me! A lot look of, at me! A lot of girls would. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, well, of course. You got good qualities. What are your good qualities? Let's see. What are your good qualities? I fuck them right up the crapper. Okay, there's, there's, that's a good they quality. Like, they all like that, right? They want me to fuck them up their ass. Okay, what else are your good qualities? <laughs> What other good qualities do you have? Would you I'm, say? A, I'm a fourth Sunday of the fucking June date. Look at me to fucking the ass. Bingo. What are What are your good qualities besides the ass play? I I love vagina. Love it. You love vagina and ass. All right. So what other qualities? Well, do you, have? you know when you, when you when you're a professor like me, I'm a sniffer. Yeah. And you get. <laughs> Right. <laughs> He's sniffing right now. You sniffed that, and you would have. <laughs> Are you a? What if it's a little funky? It's okay, it's okay. I love you, man. Listen to me. What if you sniff that? Joe, you there? I sniffed that. It's fantastic. Okay, so wait. Uh, Let me ask something. You said two good qualities you have. You like ass play and vagina. Give me some other good qualities. Just to, in general, what are your good qualities? You know, here's the whole thing. You're on me. This It's like a fucking 300 calorie thing with all these motherfuckers. I'm trying to get you to fucking take it easy for I'm just asking, give me another good quality that you have that you can offer to a woman. See the way I dress, motherfucker? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He's showing his, his sumo wrestling ass with his, with his underwear again. I'm, I'm interviewing Gary as his, as his, in his underwear, and he has it in a G-string. And you're 50 years old. I am 50. You took a picture of it. Was that fantastic? Yeah. He's 50 years old, and he's fucking Shut sitting here in his underwear, like, in a G-string. And you're sitting next to me That's right. right now. Okay? Any other good qualities? I got qualities. Like you. All right, what are your bad qualities? What would you say? Uh, are, oh, fucking bad qualities. Like what? Give us one. Oh, my God. I'm one. a slapper, a stupid guy. Must I am. What's a bad quality? Look at me. Huh? I'm a slapper. Slot the vagina all the way down. Look at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, you're in love. I'm in love, fella. I love my girl. How does it feel? I'm pretty fucking happy, man. I am. Yeah? I love her. I do. It's the best thing that ever happened in my life, too. You don't, you don't even know, man. But you know, me, but hey, meanwhile, first of all, you know me, man. I was a, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. Man. Okay, but meanwhile, she's but even... Jim, you know, I'm a clown. You're saying... Wait, first of all, you're saying it's the best thing to happen in your life, but then if she wants you to move in or get married, you say absolutely no. So th- how is that the best thing in your life ever? That's a good thing. So you're willing to give up everything? Well, she, no, the I'm best thing kidding. in your life? No. I'm not asking her to give up huh? any goddamn thing, but... She wants what? Him to quit drinking. Oh, she does? Yeah. She wants you to quit drinking? So what what do you say to that? Um, let's fuck it. Let's work on it. Does she drink? Oh um, yeah. The kids? Whose kids? My kids? No, you your seeds. <laughs> your seeds, yeah. So she wants you to cut back on drinking. Yeah. Alcohol, yeah. So why don't you do it? Hey, you know what? Hey, I'm all for it, man. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices in a relationship. Fucking do, let me Sometimes you gotta take say make I sacrifices. In a relationship makes yeah, me. I like to have a good time. That's it. All right, so all right. You guys know that. Shit. All right, so the, the, okay. Right? You say you're in love, but you won't give up drinking for her. You won't move in, or you won't get married. Is that good? <laughs> and he won't walk the dogs. You won't walk the dogs, and you tried to get her in the crapper four times when she said, and she <laughs> said the same thing every time. Not even once. She didn't even go in the crapper, so that's wrong. Doesn't sound like this is going to work out. Yes, it's going to work out fantastic, guy. You think so? Let me laugh. You guys are pissing me off now, motherfucker. Why are we pissing you off? 
Shut your hole. <laughs> Come on. All right. Not a speech, dude. What the fuck? No, all right. Well, that's that's. You fine. lost half before. All right, look, we got, we got, we got, we got what we needed. So. I'm freezing, man. All right, wait, wait. It, yeah, well, you're fucking sitting here in your underwear. You're a 50 year old man. All right, so look, look, come here, guy. Yeah, we're almost done. To sum it up. Good. You're in love. I love her, dude. I do. She doesn't give it up in the crapper. I. She don't. Um. You're my best friend. Your ears are right now. You had half a year of taking off, but you're good. I would say going. it's pretty much fucking, you know what, I'm happy right now, yeah. Right. That was a little scare. Yeah, well, are you happy or not? Am I happy what? Oh, my ear falling off. No, I'm just, I'm ha- you know, we're just giving you an update. No, yeah. I'm glad that your, your health is okay. Fucking you know, shit about my fucking ear. I'm in a scabs hanging all over the fucking place. Look at that fucking dead dog fucking crying. Holy shit. And you're in love. I am in love, man. I am. God bless. Does it feel Does it feel good to be in love? I feel good, dude. How do you feel? <laughs> Great. Yeah, I bet. It feels good, though? My fucking, yeah, it feels. Listen, it's fantastic. I love her. Oh, that's um, that, and you, oh, wait, you're going on a trip with her. Wait, you're going over to Europe. Europe, Barcelona, uh, Venice. So you're taking her? Yeah, man. Me and my cousins, we're all going on. Oh, she, and she's going with trip. you. So it's oh, just yeah. that, not just you two. Yeah, we're like five 14 months. days? Four, mm-hmm. Wait, 14 days, Gary? 14 days. No, yeah, you're yeah. going to be able to be away with somebody for 14 days because you're usually you're going gonna, by yourself. I don't need a one for my cousin. She's got cancer. No, I know, but I'm just saying with your girl, this girl, yeah. is she going to get on your nerves no, staying in a hotel all. and all that stuff? Please. No, we're taking her, we're doing a cruise. So all right, but... Is she gonna get on your nerves? Oh, yeah, my own fucking sweet. No, she, you're not used to being around people no, for 14 my own sweet. straight you days. Something. She's gonna be in this suite with you. No, I got my own. They got their. I got my own. Dude. Are you are you bringing your girlfriend on this trip? I am bringing my girlfriend. Okay, she's gonna get on your nerves. My own fucking suite. Where you know? is she gonna sleep then? In her own place. So you bought her one own place too. Well, yeah, but you know I gotta have my own fucking place, fella. Really? How do you think she's gonna feel if like she's on a vacation matter, and you're staying in your own place? The fucking waitress is all going to come in and fucking say, hey, do a second my meal. Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. Oh. So that's why you got it your own. <laughs> You're not even going to stay in the same fucking cabin as her. Look at She's me. flying to fucking Europe for you to spend vacation with you when you got your own cabin and she has to go on her own. What a pig I am, huh? But you didn't do it to bang chicks. Why would you do it? Well, she wanted to do it herself. So I went to, you know, it saved 80 bucks. Are you kidding me or what? Well, it's worth it, Do 80 it. bucks. So you won't even sleep with her at night? Oh, me, I gotta sleep with her every night. Are you fucking kidding me? You know, fucking... Joe and his wife, they've been married, what, 30 years? I'm with her fucking eight months. Bottom line is, go outside, go to the bathroom, and fucking stick my meal right I thought it was five and a half months you with her. Well, same. well goddamn. Five and a half, four and a half. How many dates did it take you to bang her? Three? Three dates, four dates in two weeks. You waited two weeks. You've never waited that long in your life. Is that great or what, Jim? Why did you wait two weeks? Do you have respect for me or what? Why did you wait two weeks? Do you have respect for me? It it depends on your answer. Why? Because I love her. She's the most... But you didn't know that at the time. Why did you wait two weeks? Usually, you got you got to finish my fucking sentence. Before we already you. heard she's a you lover. He's fantastic. You, every time I try, but you weren't in love with her. You weren't in love with her. Guy, every time I try to say something, I'm fucking to flip He was. You weren't in love with her three yeah. weeks in. Oh, no, neither were you, motherfucker. Let me fucking you know me? Why did you wait two weeks? Why did you wait fucking two weeks? Why did you wait? Two Why weeks? did you wait fucking two weeks ago? Who are you fucking? How about that? You want to go downtown, downtown or what, motherfucker? You feel me or what, motherfucker? Four dates. Four dates. You didn't. Why did you wait four dates, though? Because I'm GJ Gentile. Yeah, but other dates, you 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 need you got it in ten minutes. Why would you wait four dates? That's I just answered that. Why? I'm curious. I'm trying to answer this question, motherfucker, right now. Shh. Shh. Okay. 
You waited four dates because... Shh. See, he won't answer the question. He will not answer the question. It's a simple question. I was hammered. That's right. What do you mean you were hammered? Because I loved her, dude. You didn't, but you didn't love her in the I beginning. I was trying to be a more respectable guy than who than I used to be and a fucking did. long time ago. When, when, when were you respectable? When you when you were seventeen years old, you banged a fucking uh, your your fucking girlfriend's mom. When were, yeah, an hour before she came home, and her father came home ten minutes after that. So you when an hour or when, or when were you respectable ever in your life? When yeah. smack that thing, baby. Peter, he's spanking me. his own ass. When were you respectable? Tell me when you were respectable in your own life. That was fantastic that night. Holy shit. God, I was fucking 360 pounds. Going, holy fuck. What, so you were never respectable. You're banging my fucking wife. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God, that was brutal. Never. Jim, look at me. All right, so you were trying to be respectful by, by waiting to have sex with her when you met her. So it took four dates. Her mom? No, no, you're talking about your girlfriend now. Her mom is an, an, oh, of course you have four dates. And that, come on, that's class, guy. So you, yeah. it's not, but she, it's Shut not, your fucking hole. Dude. It's not like she grabbed your dick and you go, no, let's wait. She never so, did it. Yeah, exactly. If she, if she made the move on you, you would have done it at the first date. So don't say anything about yeah, respect. Yeah. You, you wouldn't have held out four dates. No, it was the, uh, Hold on a second. All right. I think we're done. Yeah. Thank you. Any last words? God bless you, motherfuckers. Anything else? Anything else? Oh. I need a pizza. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>